critical thing. Let me plead with all of you this night. Whenever people talk about you, all of you have been to good schools. I always have friends like you who tell me about Singapore and this and that. And what I tell them that if you go to Singapore, and that's the only example I'll use, the best people are in government. The best brain is in government. I plead with all of you, as you enjoy and do whatever you do in your good office and everything, please do not leave governance to the least in the society. That's what we are doing today. The role models we have in government are the least in the society. And all of us are complaining. There's no way we won't complain. There's no way. People say to me, how were you able to save money? It was very simple. All we did was to shut down the cost of governance. In eight years, I never had a governor's lodge in Abuja. Why should I have it? I don't live in Abuja. It's not necessary. As a governor's lodge in Lagos, you can go and see it. I lived it for 25 years. I don't live in Lagos. Why should we have governor's office in Lagos? In one, in one year alone, we cut the cost of gov governor's travel by 80%. Why? When they invite me to Abuja for a meeting, I'm the only person invited. Why should I go with 30 other people who nobody invited? And they have no reason to be there. And that's what is happening. You don't need to go too far. No, it's, it's, it's important that you know that. That is what is your problem. The cost. I have to pay for 30 people nobody invited for the meeting. They constitute a nuisance to the traveling public at the airport. I go to the hotel and pay for them. And you know, because they're idle, they eat more. Because they have nothing they're doing. Why should I pay for them? And that was the cost. And it's important that if you people get involved, because when people say, they say, where did you get the money from? We didn't get the money from anywhere. We had 11, 12 governors guest house when I started. I shut all of them down. I'm a married man. If I finish work, I go home. Because there's no reason why I should go to guest house. Because he's the governor. The governor has to live an exemplary life. It's important that you people... The reason why I'm saying this is for you to get involved. i give you one example that saved us over half a billion naira. Obasanjo was to visit Anambra State. In my turn, he has phoned me. He's there and they said, ah, I have to build pre president's, uh, what, the presidential lodge. I said, the president doesn't live in Alhambra State. Why should I build a lodge for him? By the time I know it, they have directed somebody who had already package contract of half a billion naira. I said, we will build the house. Within six months, you will complete it. I said, not as long as I'm here. You're not going to build this place. The president can come in the morning and go in the evening. He doesn't have to sleep here. He doesn't have to sleep there, and I'm not going to do it. When the president phoned me directly, when Ambassador said, yes, he must sleep in Anambra State, I went to him. I said, Mr. President, it's very simple. I have a lodge as a governor. In my bed, everything is there. What I'm going to do, I went to his people. Let me vacate this place for one month. For you people, you stay here. When you go, I come back. I don't need to build a new house. And believe me, they accepted my, my own position, but took my keys for one week. I asked my wife, listen, carry everything out. We'll go one week, let them stay here. He slept in my own bedroom and everything. And one week we spent in a hotel in Oka, 120,000 naira. That would have cost us half a million naira. Why are we going to do it? We don't need